Okay, so I recently got an email from the company Placino to do a, a review of one of their rods and reels. And initially I was hesitant to do the review, mostly because I, I, didn't, I didn't know if I, uh, if I would be quite right to do it or be able to do justice to the rod and reel because right now we still have ice on, on the lakes and stuff. So like to even get out to film a fishing video with it, um, I, I don't know if that would happen. But then I got to thinking uh, based upon what the product is and how the product works, you know, 12 year old me would have been through the moon uh, to receive something like this or or for a product like this to even be on the market at the given time so i thought like what better way to give back while there's still ice on the lakes while i can't actually go out and fish than to like make someone spring so um i'm going to review this i'm going to give it to someone um, i think it's going to be a really awesome way to give back to the fishing community a little bit and hopefully help someone who maybe doesn't have a boat or isn't a or, or is now able to get on the water or will be getting on the water soon so those are my thoughts with it um callie didn't let me have a good knife to open this package up so it's going to look a little janky but we're going to give it a shot uh apparently my wife doesn't trust me <laughs> yep see it's working real well so far it almost it almost cut through the tape almost we're just gonna strong arm it i guess don't play with knives. All right, so a nice little, all right, all right. Cool packaging. I dig it, I dig it. Cats are excited about it too, apparently. It's a good day. All right, here we go. So pulling it out, got a nice little travel case. First, uh, first initial impressions with the travel case, um, definitely like, you could fit that right in a backpack, no problem at all. And I, and I think that's one of the really cool things about it and, and one of the biggest reasons why uh, this product initially caught my eye. Um, so thanks, Alan, for shooting me an email about it and letting me know about it. But, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where there's a lot of people who really enjoy the sport of fishing and there's a lot of people who don't necessarily have the money to get into it. I mean, it can be really expensive. Um, and, and this, you know, a little travel carrying case with a telescopic rod, you know, it's a really good entry point for a lot of people. So that was something else that really caught my eye. All right, let's open her up. All right. So we got a lot going on in here that actually caught me by surprise a little bit. So we got hundred percent fluorocarbon line right away. Honestly, um, that's brilliant. Like that's pretty much what I run on all of my spinning equipment. Um, right now so like for that to come standard with uh with the reel and stuff that's a huge help all right so we got some lures that came with it which is pretty helpful again if you are looking to get into the sport uh yeah so we got some little cranks we got a little rattle trap in there with a jig head a couple of weights a little uh oh oh boy jig head down hold on all right i'm back uh jig head for some of these grubs we got three or four grubs in there a um, couple of uh, wide gap hooks a little mini jerk bait that'll be really good come spring especially uh yeah especially in in some of the parts of the country that i live in so that's cool that's that's really neat okay um bear with me for a second i'm gonna put this guy together even got a little hook keeper here to put on the rod itself Okay, so initial impressions of, of, of the setup, I, I would say it's very well made. Um, like more metal components than I thought. Um, this thing's going to be really durable and hold up well. Um, it's definitely meant to be put into like a backpack or to be, you know, used on the bank if it, if it gets set on a rock or, you know, set on the pavement, something like that. It's meant to be able to take that abuse and I can see that very clearly, uh, which is cool because I, I can't even tell you how many rods I have scuffed up from, you know, just using on the bank, using on the rocks on a regular basis. Uh, the reel as well is definitely, um, the construction of it is is better than I expected. I don't really do the, uh, the left-handed thing all that well, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you get it. I'm not gonna switch. I'm not gonna switch the reel over. Something really neat that I noticed um, with this, if you can pick that up, Cal, 
is this release here that like releases the handle back um, to make it easy for transport. So then that way you don't have to completely unscrew the reel and release it in order to transport it to the next place that you're gonna fish. I mean, these guys really did think of all of the different things um, related to uh, being able to utilize, you know, just a, a rod and reel from a bank type scenario. They also comes with this really handy tip cover thinger. Uh, I, thinger is the technical term and I'm gonna use it because I don't know what it's called, but you know, protecting your eyelets, protecting your, your rod is, is crucial, especially like this rod is designed clearly for the bank, for being abused, put through the ringer, that kind of thing. So to have those protected is huge. All right, so we're gonna just extend it, see what the action's like and, and go from there. Um, I think that the, the action of this guy is pretty heavy, which is totally fine. Um, again, I think that there are definitely some saltwater applications that this could be utilized uh, in as well. All right, so we got like a pretty sensitive tip there, all things considered. I mean, the, the action is pretty parabolic, or not parabolic. Uh, it's really, um, it's really got a good action to it. Like a lot of load in the tip, but, but plenty of backbone through the rod itself. Um, definitely, <laughs> definitely impressed with the action of the rod, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I think that'll, that'll be really good. I, I wish... I could showcase, um, you know, fighting a fish on this right now. It's just not realistic. Um, hopefully, whomever receives this guy will be able to do that and do it well. I, I'm really, really excited for someone to be able to put this rod to the test through the ringer. Another thing that I like that uh, these people did, again, it's going to be hard to see. I'm going to kind of collapse this rod here just so it's a little easier to, to view. Um, and that's another thing that I noticed is the rod collapses very easily. Like there's no, there's no real, real issues there. Um, but Cal, if you can zoom in, if you guys can see the inserts of these are metal and that is pretty huge when you're designing a rod to be used and abused. I can't even tell you how many ceramic eyelets I've broken out of rods. Um, it's very frustrating when you are fishing and you discover uh, a chip in one of your ceramic eyelets, uh, you know, halfway through a trip or you're reeling in your line and you notice that it's all frayed up and you can't figure out why and you can't quite find the right eyelet, but you know one of them is messed up. Like being able to avoid those things are crucial and when a rod is meant to take the abuse and knowing that it's going to take it is pretty huge, especially again, you know, if you're fishing from the bank, you're setting it down, you're putting it on rocks, it might get dropped it might hit a rock, whatever. It, all those things are important and huge considerations to make. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, super impressed with, with the rod and reel combo. Comes with all the stuff that you need, uh, you know, line, lures, all of those things. I may include a couple goodies of my own with this um, for whomever wins it. This is gonna be the easiest giveaway to enter of all time. Literally all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, leave a comment of a kid or someone you know who could really use a, a perfect setup for uh, work in the bank, utilizing uh, an, an easy way to get around, something that could be used in a backpack, you know, someone who is going to be able to utilize that rod and reel um, for its best purpose. Um, fortunately, I'm in a, a very privileged position to have grown up, I have a boat, I have all the things, but as a 12 year old, as someone who was younger, who used to fish on the bank a lot, who didn't have a boat, who didn't always have someone to fish with, this rod uh, for me at that age would have been huge. Again, to enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe, leave a comment. I'll pick one of you guys to give the rod to. Alan, I really appreciate you reaching out to me and, and allowing me the opportunity to review uh, one of your rods. I hope that I'm able to do it justice and I hope that I can find someone who will be able to utilize this rod to its full potential more so than I can um, at this point in my fishing journey. As always, I really appreciate all of you guys uh, watching. If you enjoy the video, please leave a comment. Please let me know. Um, I, I can do more tackle talks, more reviews. I, I know that you guys, uh, there, there are a lot of you who really enjoy those and I'd be glad to do more. Anyway, hopefully the ice will melt soon. Hopefully we'll be on the water soon. I'll see some of you out there, I'm sure. 
As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.